Welcome to Kinderopia Read Alouds. I'm so happy that you're here today. I can't wait to read with you. I want you to think about a time that you lost something, or even worse, a time that you got lost. How did you feel? Did anyone help you? Today, we're going to read the book, Ben and Zip, Two Short Friends. Please make sure to like and subscribe below to hear many more Kinderopia Read Alouds. Let's read in three, two, one, Kinderopia, read aloud. Ben and Zip, Two Short Friends. Written by Joanne Linden. Illustrated by Tom Goldsmith. Ben was short. Zip was shorter. They skipped along the boardwalk toward their favorite spot, Wally's Popcorn Wagon, while swarms of people sunned and strolled on the sandy beach. Suddenly, the sky turned dark. The wind began to blow. Thunder boomed and Zip bolted into the crowd. Zip! Zip! Ben called into the wind. Ben pushed his way through the crowd to look for Zip, but all he saw was right knees, Left knees, knees with sandy patches, fat knees, bony knees, knees with bumps and scratches. Too many knees, said Ben. And more thunder, I need to find Zip. Ben scooted onto a bench to get a better view, but all he saw was round bellies, flat bellies, bellies white and brown, hairy bellies, Jelly bellies, bellies hanging down. Too many bellies, cried Ben. Where is Zip? Ben scampered onto a picnic table to get a better view, but all he saw was black hair, brown hair, hair short and curly, red hair, yellow hair, hair long and swirly. Too much hair, said Ben. Oh, where is Zip? Ben scrambled up the lifeguard stand to get a better view, but now all he saw was no knees, no bellies, no heads of hair, closed umbrellas, lonely castles, beach completely bare. Far in the distance, Ben saw Wally's popcorn wagon. That's where Zip must be, he shouted. Ben scurried down the ladder and ran back to the boardwalk. Past the pizza, past the books, past the ice cream stand, past the prizes, past the games, past the ragtime band. Ben splashed through the puddles and skidded up to the popcorn wagon, but Zip was not there. Oh, Zip, where are you? Yip, yip whimpered Zip. Zip! Ben cheered. A lonely howl rose up from below Ben's feet. Ben peeked below the boards. There was Zip with his leash snagged on a post. Hang on, boy, called Ben as he scooted under the boardwalk. Woof! Woof! barked Zip. Zip waggled from end to end. Hold still, boy, said Ben. I've got you. Ben and Zip beneath the boards safe from stormy weather. A hug, a lick, a scratch, a yawn. Two short friends together. I am so glad that Ben found Zip. I bet they were both very scared. Thank you for reading with us. See you next time. Kinderopia, read aloud.